Comrade President Vladimir Putin, African heads of state, comrade head of delegation, good morning. It is an honor for me this morning to take the floor here and to pass on to you the fraternal greetings of the people of the land of men of integrity. It is from the Almighty that we have been able to gather here this morning in good health to talk about the future and the well-being of our people. I am going to apologize to the elders whom I may offend in my future remarks. Because of Africanity, because of the rights of one of them, I have to apologize. Comrade, I have a few questions from my generation. Not a single question that is being asked. We don't have an answer and it turns out that here we can wash our linsol because we feel like a family. It feels like a family in the sense that Russia is also a family for Africa. It is a family because we have the same history. Russia made enormous sacrifices to liberate the world from Nazism during the Second World War. The people of Africa, our grandfathers, were also forcibly deported to help Europe get rid of Nazism. We share the same history in the sense that we are the forgotten peoples of the world, whether in the history books, in documentaries or in film, in so far as we sweep away the preponderant role played by Russia and Africa in this fight against Nazism. We are here together because we are here to talk about the future of our peoples and what is to come. Of the future of tomorrow, of the free world to which we aspire, of a world without interference in our internal affairs. We have the same prospects and I hope that this summit will be an opportunity to forge very good relations and to create a better future for our peoples. The questions that my generations are asking themselves about the next generation, if I can sum it up, is that they do not understand how Africa, with so much wealth on our soil, with its generous nature, water and abundant sunshine, Africa is today the poorest continent. Africa is a starving continent, and how is it that our heads of state are traveling through the world of Amand? These are questions that we are asking ourselves and that we have not yet had answers. We have the opportunity to forge new relationships and I hope that these relations can be the best, to give a better future to our peoples. My generation also instructs me to say that because of poverty, they are forced to cross the ocean in order to try to reach Europe. They die in the ocean but that soon they will not have crossed it because they will come in front of our palaces to look for their daily sustenance. As far as Burkina Faso is concerned, for more than eight years, we have been confronted with the most barbaric and violent form of neo-colonialism and imperialism. Slavery still has so much to impose on us. Our front runners have taught us one thing. Slavery that is not capable of accepting its own revolt does not deserve to be relied upon by its fate. We don't worry about our fate. We are not asking for someone to rely on our fate. The people of Burkina Faso have decided to fight to fight against hypothyroidism capable of reviving its development. In this struggle, valiant peoples, wines and a population have pledged to take up arms in the face of terrorists. The ones we actually call the VDPs, volunteers. We are surprised to see the imperialists calling these VDPs militias and of all kinds. It is one of those wines, because in Europe, when people take up arms to defend their patriots, they are called patriots. Our grandfathers were deported to save Europe. It was not with their consent, against their grey. Well, on the way back, we remember that in Tiaroy, when they tried to bandage their elemental sheet, they were massacred, so it doesn't matter. When we people decide to defend ourselves, we are called militias, but that's not the problem. 
What is the problem is to see African heads of state who bring nothing to these peoples who are fighting, but who sing the same thing as the imperialists. To our militia dealers, to our traders, therefore, to men who do not respect human rights, hence the human right. We are effusive against this and these shameful people. We, the African heads of state, must stop behaving like puppets who dance every time the imperialists pull the strings. Yesterday, President Vladimir Putin announced that the grain would be sent to Africa. And we are very happy, and we thank each other for that. But it is also a message to our African heads of state because at the next forum, we must not come here without having ensured that our peoples will be able to achieve food self-sufficiency for those who do not know war. We need to learn from those who have already been able to achieve this in Africa, build good relations here and build better relations with the Russian Federation so that we can meet the needs of our people. I may not be slow, Time is running out and very short. We are obliged to stop and love my take. But I would like to end by saying that we must therefore pay tribute to our peoples, to our peoples who are fighting. Glory to our peoples, dignity to our peoples, victory to our peoples, homeland or death will come. Thank you, comrades.